to Mind Up lesson number eight, Mindful Movement. My name is Joni, and as you know, I'm a trainer for the Beach Cities Health District. And today's lesson is all about moving mindfully. We'll start to notice the different sensations in our body that we feel when we're active and how those are different than when we're resting. But before we begin today's lesson, let's review the materials that you'll need. Here are the materials you need for today. The mindful movement worksheet, a pen or pencil, scissors and glue or tape, and open space to move and jump. Let's begin by talking about your heart. Your heart is a muscle and it works hard to pump oxygen filled blood to your body. When we're in a relaxed state, our heart beats slow and steady. When we're active and doing things like hiking, our hearts tend to beat faster. Let's check in with our heartbeat right now. Hi again. So in order to check in with our heartbeat, Let's find a really calm, still position. So you can stand with me, plant your feet nice and firmly on the ground, bring your arms down by your side. Let's close our eyes together, or you can look down, whatever feels best for you. And take a nice big deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale, let it go. Great job, let's do that again. This time, inhale, bring your shoulders up. And exhale, roll them back down. And then bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Start to notice the rise and fall of your belly and chest as you breathe. And then place both hands over your heart, press gently on your chest. And in this stillness, let's see if we can feel our heartbeat. It's probably just a gentle tap since we're resting. Slowly bring your hands back down by your side. And you can start to look up and blink your eyes open. So our heart rate when we're resting, it's a very gentle tap, right? This is a sign to us, a signal that we can pay attention to, to just know that our body is calm and relaxed. Now that begins to change when we start to move our body a little bit more. So maybe that's running or hopping or jumping. So we're gonna try that together today. So with that low resting heart rate, we're going to try to speed it up. So just start to jump a little bit side to side with me. You can move your arms back and forth. You can reach them up. And then we'll do some taps on the ground. One and jump up. Tap the ground. Up. We've got three more. Tap. Up. Tap. Up. One more. Tap. Up. And... Bring your hand to your heart and your hand to your belly right away. Let's find stillness together. Close our eyes or look down. Feel the beat of your heart now. The difference. Much more like a beating drum. You may even feel a bit breathless. And as your heart rate starts to slow down with your breath, you can bring your arms down by your side and blink your eyes open when you're ready. And you still might feel it beating as you're standing here with me. We'll give it a chance to calm down a bit and we'll take a little movement break and I'll review, with the, I'll review with you some of the things that um, we've been talking about, about our heart, being resting in an active state. And then after that, 
I will teach you in the next video how to find your heart rate and measure that beating heart. We discovered our heart started to beat faster when we were active and it slowed down when we rested. We also learned that long, deep breaths and finding stillness can help our heart rate slow down. This can be especially helpful if we're angry or upset. Remember, our brains and bodies work together to help keep us healthy and safe. When we listen to the signals our body gives us, such as our beating heart, we can use those signals to make good decisions about our health. Now that our bodies have had some time to calm down again, let's talk about measuring our heart rate by taking our pulse. So your pulse can be found by using your pointer finger and your middle finger and placing those two fingers either right on your wrist, right below your wrist, or at the base of your neck. Okay? And when you press in either of those areas, you should feel a gentle pulse. And that pulse is going to tell us more about how fast our heart is beating. And as you might be able to guess, now that our bodies are a little bit more relaxed, it's probably going to be beating a little bit slower. So take those two fingers, find what spot is best for you. Then we'll count together how many beats we feel in 15 seconds. All right, find the spot that's good for you. You might want to close your eyes. It will help you focus a bit more. We'll just look down and we'll begin. Start counting now. And stop. So now that you've counted your um, heartbeats, you found your pulse. And it might be different than the person next to you. Um, if you have a friend or family member at home and you teach them, it is very, very normal for heart rates to vary. Most importantly though, why we want to start paying attention to our pulse and that beating heart is because it can tell us things about ourselves, right? Especially in situations where we might feel angry or upset. You may begin to notice that your heart rate starts to pick up. And in those situations, we know we can use our mindful breathing to help slow our heartbeat back down, just like we practiced today after we were jumping. So you might notice throughout the day, your heartbeat could even pick up when you're not moving. It's because you're having a big emotion. So we wanna to remember to use those tools to use our mindful breathing to help us in those situations. That was a lot of information and I have one last task for you uh, before we wrap up for today and you'll find out what that is in the next video. Now it's time to grab your worksheet, scissors, glue, or tape. Okay, so your last task today is to complete this worksheet. I'll zoom in a bit. And as you'll see, there are images of different people either in an active state or a resting state. And your job is to decide if they are indeed active or resting. And then once you do, you can cut those images out and place them either on the active or the resting square. And there'll be four of each. After you complete your worksheet, you can share it with a friend or a family member and teach them everything you learned today, maybe even teach them how to find their pulse. And then for the rest of the week, pay attention to your body and the signals that you're getting. And don't forget to use your breath to help calm you down and stay focused when you need it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for joining me for some mindful movement and I will see you again soon.